I never went to uni, you guys. I never had that experience. Maybe that's why I'm so drawn to these varsity vibes. Hello, my sweet friends. Welcome back to my channel. Today, I have a try on thrift haul for you guys, but it's mainly trans seasonal pieces and we are all transitioning into either autumn, winter, or spring summer so I hope this gives you some inspiration because I've styled up all these pieces for you guys anyway I'm not gonna ramble so the first piece I have to show you is a short sleeve knit the perfect piece to transition into either cooler weather or warmer weather this one is vintage in an off-white color the label is barricade it's a size 10 and it's made in Australia well the fabric tag has faded out but I would say it's acrylic I love the eyelet detail in this top and I love the placement of it it kind of stops at the chest area however there is no eyelet detail in the back I thought this was a very special vintage piece you can easily throw a blazer over top if it's particularly cold and what I love about this knit top is that it's in that beautiful just off-white color and neutral that can pair back with anything I love the gray denim with the white I think it just softens the knit as opposed to black denim or the expected blue denim. I especially love the high crew neck and the half sleeve. I think it looks gorgeous tucked in that you could easily leave this top out and I'm sure it would look just as lovely. It's no secret that I am a big fan of vintage blouses and so when I saw this one, I couldn't resist. It is a polka dot after all. But look how tiny this polka dot is. It's just so tiny. I don't think I have ever seen a polka dot this small. It's in a great color palette, this black and white. So of course, this is vintage. It's by Lorenzo, Australian made, polyester, size 12. Black and white is just a no brainer when it comes to styling. That's just how it is with neutral colors. They can pair back with anything. But what I love most about this shirt is the sleeve. It's quite balloon-like and drapey, but then it tapers in at the wrist with a sweet, delicate cuff detail. And I just think that is so flattering on a woman. And the collar I thought was quite different. It's not your typical traditional collar. You can lay it flat and it looks like a lapel shape, or you can kind of bring it up and I think that looks nice as well. I wore black denim to bring out the black polka dot and I decided to go for a black loafer to elongate that leg and keep the look very chic. You'll always see me wearing the same jewelry. I just love gold. I don't really wear silver or white gold. I find gold jewelry is the most flattering on my skin tone and I love the way my gold vintage watch looks with these vintage pieces. I think it's just a beautiful piece. The next piece I have to show you is a linen shirt. I think linen is great for those in between months, especially a long sleeve linen piece, such as this one by Country Road. I do think this one is vintage because it's made in Australia. And I'm pretty sure that most of Country Road is now made in China, but I could be wrong. It is 100% linen. It's a size small, but it's in this gorgeous oversized boxy shape. I love this chambray blue. I think this blue is absolutely gorgeous. It works as a neutral to me, I think it pairs back with anything. And so I decided to keep the look really tonal with a pair of denim cutoffs. Well, they're actually a Bermuda length, which I also think is another great trans seasonal piece. I love wearing my Bermudas with blazers. It's just a look I really love. And the white loafer, I think, freshens up the look. I decided for a more casual look and rolled up the sleeves to the elbow, but you could definitely style this with the cuffs buttoned at the wrist, a more dressier pant and maybe a trainer and it would be a gorgeous look as well. I am so excited to show you guys this piece. As I may have mentioned once or twice before, 
I am in a very sporty phase at the moment. And so when I saw this top, it's kind of like a rugby shirt to me. But this is vintage Miller's, you guys. It is a size 16 and it's 100% cotton. But to me, you guys, this is a rugby shirt. I have seen some in H&M and a few other places, but I actually love this one. I love the shape. It's so boxy, it's not too long. It has the white collar and the white trims on the cuff and also the quarter button detail. I love the white stripe. This is such a great piece. It's got that tomboy, varsity, sporty vibe that I love. The black and white is just perfection. Such a great neutral that I can pair back with blue, black, white, gray denim, even Bermuda shorts. Today I went for a darker blue denim and rolled up the cuffs. I thought it just looked really kind of old school and I just love that vibe. The trainers are new from H&M. I think the little pops of black on these trainers is what elevates them. So I swapped out my gold watch for my black watch. I just thought it complemented the outfit more and I just love this look. I just love this look, you guys. This top just might be my favorite piece of this haul. Let's get into some plaid. It's no secret that I love plaid. It's just something that I have trouble styling, especially when it's more than two colors. But when I saw this one, I just loved the color palette so much. Again, it's very boxy and oversized. I think it would look great as an overshirt. And this one is vintage Suzanne Gray. The fabric tag and size has completely faded away. I gather it is 100% cotton and I love, love, love these tortoiseshell buttons. There's no pocket detail on this shirt. I especially love this sleeve because it is wide, but then it tapers in at the end. Look at that. So this is the kind of piece that you can wear buttoned up like a shirt or as an overshirt. And I love the way it looks in this cutaway. I was actually surprised, you know, by how much I loved it on. I do love the colors in this, the beautiful greens and blues and creams. Again, I consider all those colors neutrals. For the cutaway, I went for my car keys, my cargo pants that I do love still, but I am looking for a more trouser style of pants in the same color but I do love this color I think it pairs beautifully with the shirt I am quite new to the bodysuit way of living I discovered them last year and I've got to tell you guys if you're not into bodysuits give them a go because you'll be surprised by how great they are to layer pieces just like this so I was gonna go for a white bodysuit but I decided to go for a blue one a navy blue one to pick up the beautiful blues in the shirt and the white trainers I think pick up that creamy color in the shirt and then the pop of green on the trainers tie in with the green in the outfit so I just love this look. The next plaid shirt, you guys, is in this beautiful colorway. I mean, it's just so gorgeous, this warm tan and cream. Again, it's in that boxy silhouette that I absolutely love. Oversized, but not too oversized like the previous one. So this I can wear tucked in. I love the wide sleeve. It has a single chest pocket. It's just a beautiful vintage flannel. So this one is by Basics. It's a medium, it's 100% cotton, and it's made in China. I just love plaid so much, especially when it's in a two colorway, and this latte color and cream is just so dreamy, so cozy. I guess for me, I like to style plaid in a very elevated way. I want it to look chic as opposed to a Western country kind of vibe, if you know what I mean. So I just love the way this shirt looked with the gray denim. And then I followed on with the gray with my little moccasin booties, which I love. They're beautiful suede, again, cozy vibes. I absolutely adore tan tones with gray. I think they look gorgeous together. And so I decided to add my gorgeous Panama hat in this beautiful tan to pick up the beautiful latte color in the shirt and tie them in together. And so the third and final plaid shirt of this haul is this one, my friends, black and white. I mean, how gorgeous is this? I found this in the men's section. I love the double chest pockets. 
I love how large and oversized it is. Again, the sleeve is wide, it's long, and oh my God, I just love this. So this one is by Rivers, it's an XL. It's made in Bangladesh, 100% cotton. And I decided to style this one very deconstructed. I just left it out with a couple of buttons done up at the front and the cuffs undone. And I guess that word undone is the kind of approach I take to when I'm applying makeup or when I'm getting dressed. I want everything to feel very undone. In other words, lived in and not too perfected, just really relaxed and effortless. And I just love the way this plaid shirt looked. Over the black jeans with the black boots, a more chic vibe as opposed to that lumberjack vibe that I avoid. These black riding boots were a treasure find. I absolutely love them. And I do love elongating the leg. That is another style tip that I kind of incorporate in my outfit. Sometimes I do like to pair a shoe in the same colorway as my pant. I do also love a pop of color in the shoe. Even though this is a men's shirt, I love how it looks on me. I would also wear this as an overshirt. Let us now move into knits. I have four knits to show you guys. I mean, this is 100% this is vintage vibes. It is a beautiful top slash cardigan in this cream color but it has a floral print in lilac blue and green and i think it's stunning it's got a very delicate pearl button detail and the sleeve of course is wide and tapers in at the wrist it's very long it's very long and you get more of that violet color on the bottom of the cardigan and also on the cuff there but it's absolutely gorgeous so this piece is by Woodwards and there is no fabric tag or composition to be found I wouldn't be surprised if this is a wool blend you guys a wool cotton blend it's so cozy and soft on the skin so whether this top was meant to be worn as a cardigan I'm not sure I think you could wear it either way I chose to wear it as a top because I love a high round neck and I love these buttons I want to show them off and I also love that at the cuffs you have this block color I think that's very striking as well this top is definitely for someone who is a vintage lover it is vintage it looks vintage I've tried to modernize it with gray denim again I love gray with lilac and violet tones. I think they are a beautiful pairing. And I gotta tell you guys, the first thing I thought when I spotted this piece was, oh, great, another piece that I can wear my loafers with. Knit number two, my friends, is this handmade gray V-neck knit. I mean, it's beautiful. Whoever knitted this is, I mean, the craftsmanship is just unbelievable. She was Amazing. Look at the texture in that knit. Again, a beautiful wide sleeve, but not too exaggerated, and a ribbed cuff and ribbed hem. The gray is just a beautiful tone, and gray again is a neutral, and the length of this knit is not too long, so it makes it quite easy to tuck in. You guys, whenever I'm not sure of what to wear, I always go for a tonal look. It's just a no-brainer, always looks chic. It's just an effortless look. So that's what I did with this knit. So I do a front tuck, but not just where the button flap is. You kind of have to tuck it in all around the front and then you can leave the rest loose in the back. I just find it looks so much more flattering that way. Of course I'm wearing the grey denim again. I do not know what I would do without grey jeans. I've always had a pair in my wardrobe. A simple white trainer and it's a very chic but very simple look. You guys, I wasn't sure about this one but I had to take it because it's vintage. It's in excellent condition and the quality is just amazing. I'm just not too sure about this geometric print, but I love the colorway. The charcoal and this beautiful bright but pale blue is gorgeous. It's kind of a boxy silhouette with a dolman sleeve and it tapers in at the wrist. So this piece is by Powder Blue, made here, Sydney. The name of the knit is called Sunday Angora, but the actual fabric of this knit is a nylon acrylic blend. 
So for this knit, I did pull out my charcoal jeans to tie in with the charcoal tones in this knit. For the shoe, I went for a very bright blue coloured trainer with little white stars in them to tie in with that gorgeous blue in the knit. I just cannot resist a vintage find, especially when it's of this quality and the silhouette is beautiful, the colors are beautiful. It's just that, you know, I am not really a fan of a geometric print, but I do love the way this look turned out. I think it's so gorgeous. And the last knit, you guys, is very vintage. I mean, look at this collar. It's so vintage, but you could also button it right up and it would be a gorgeous turtleneck. But it's a cable knit jumper in this gorgeous violet color. I mean, this color is just stunning. It's not very boxy, but it still works. And the sleeve, although it's not very wide, it still works also. So this one is by Slade. It's pure new wool. It's a size 16. Okay, so this look is not going to be to everyone's liking. I'm aware of that. This is 100% vintage vibes from top to bottom. And it's a lot of color, but I could not resist pairing this knit with my vintage skirt. It picks up that beautiful violet tone and I just love it. And the loafers, they are man style, juxtaposing what is a very feminine ladylike outfit. So I do love this look and this is something that is very true to my style. It's also gonna look great with denim, whether it's gray or blue or black, a pair of trainers. It's just a beautiful knit. I love the collar. It's got that beautiful vintage vibe about it. I have a couple of bottoms to show you. Both of them are trousers. When I found this pair of pants, you guys, I just, oh my God, I just, could not believe my luck because I have been looking for a houndstooth textured trouser pant for so long. And these are amazing. I'm just not sure if they're that little bit too big and too long for me. These are by Authentic Frontline Sportswear, size 14, and they are a polyester viscose blend. So as I mentioned, they are a tiny houndstooth print. They have discreet side pockets, and the pockets are lined, beautiful, slight pleating at the front, a single button and zip closure. They're also high-waisted, with a simple flat pocket in the back, which also has a button detail. So the trousers are very dressy, but I kept everything else very casual. So I've got a hoodie on top. I love this hoodie so much because it doesn't have the kangaroo pockets. So it's slightly elevated and I think it just looks so beautiful with the trousers. And then the trainers are white with a pop of black and tie in beautifully with the pants and the hoodie. Although I'm wearing a very dressy pair of pants, I think it looks so wearable, so relaxed, yet so chic. Add a gorgeous black or white bag to this outfit and layer a black blazer when it gets really chilly in the winter times just so gorgeous I am so in love with these pants but I am just not sure whether they are that little bit too voluminous on the bum area for me when I said I love plaid I was not kidding you guys I love plaid bottoms as well I am very much into trouser style pants with texture plaid houndstooth check i just love all of that especially as we move into the colder weather but these ones are a trans seasonal pant they're in a beautiful vintage polyester they're a beautiful nude pink charcoal and white these are a size 16 my friends they are by fan ladies australia a size 16 yet they fit me around the waist so well but they are quite wide and baggy in the bum and the leg, which is what I'm finding a lot with vintage pants. They are transseasonal because of the color, yes, but also the length. The length is a three quarter length with this gorgeous little button detail on the cuff. The waist is an elastic waist, but they do have 
discrete pockets. So mixing prints is something I like to incorporate in my outfits every now and then. It's not my go-to, but I do love it. And I think the two pieces work really well together. I do not think they're competing with each other. I think they actually complement each other. And I love the loafer because it kind of brings more attention to the length of the pant and also the little button detail on the cuff of the pant. So I found myself a couple of baseball caps. I'm obsessed. It's, it's, it's this sporty vibe. I can't help it. This one, I'm not too sure about. A little too pink, but it's kind of cool, right? With the New York. This one is by, I do not know actually, it just has triple trainer inside. So it's a one size fits all. It's polyester made in China. I'm not sure you guys. I'm not sure about this pink because I don't know. I, I don't really wear this shade of pink. It's this hot pink is not really me. I'm not sure if it suits me. Oh no, that pink, that pink is just too much for me, but I couldn't resist it, you guys. This other one though, I love. This one has Harvard on the front. This one is by H&M, but I have not seen it in H&M, so I don't know how old it is. Oh my God, the shape's a little awkward. I gotta say, it's kind of square. It doesn't mold my head like my other baseball caps, but I like it. I love the corduroy, I love the burgundy, I love the varsity vibes. It's just, oh my God, yes, 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 I love it. And I think it even goes with what I'm wearing. Maybe, maybe this one goes better. I think this one matches the tone of red better in my top, but I love my two baseball caps, maybe one. I'm not sure about this one. Okay, so it just says Harvard on the front, and in the back, it says it's a Harvard life. I never went to uni, you guys. I never had that experience. Maybe that's why I'm so drawn to these varsity vibes. I just feel like a cool kid when I wear anything that's preppy and varsity vibes. But anyway, two baseball caps to add to my collection. Okay, so the last item I have to share with you guys is a pair of western boots my friends yes i finally found a pair of western boots but they are not my dream pair sadly my friends they are not my dream pair because okay let us discuss all the things i don't like about this pair of western boots firstly they are too dark my dream western boots are tan secondly they are not real leather they are not but they are really well made they are and the heel whoops the heel is wooden so that's good because usually when you find boots that are non-leather the heel is cheaply made also by the way i do not know who who makes these boots i have no idea there's nothing on the bottom of them they are a size eight that's all i know and they're non-leather because it says synthetic inside and also this ruching on the shaft i'm not really sure about i would much prefer just just a plain beautiful quality leather shaft. But I do like the shape. I do like the way they look on the leg. So I like the point of these boots and the stitching, that quintessential Western stitching. But there's also some kind of texture in this boot. I don't know if it's a snake print. I'm not really sure what it is. But you guys, they were too good to leave. They were marked at $10, but they had a half price on shoes and I got them for $5. You may have seen it in my Instagram stories. And I I don't have a pair of Western boots, so these will will help me with some outfits until I find my pair, my dream pair. You guys, I just went for it. I am a country Western girl wearing my plaid dress with my cowboy boots. All I need is the cowboy hat, but I thought that was overkill. So I, I did not wear a hat for this outfit and I do love the way they turned out with this dress. They are so comfortable. And of course they would look amazing with a pair of denim tucked inside them. I have some really gorgeous boho dresses, which would look gorgeous with these boots as well. I would even go as far as saying that Western boots could very well be a staple in a girl's wardrobe. Well, this girl anyway. And that my friends brings us to the end of this try on thrift haul. I really hope you guys enjoyed the video, especially the styling portions. And I really hope I see you in my next one.